So am I holding the words of Allah in my hand? This is the words of Allah you're holding. There you go. I am holding the words of Allah in my hand. Is my hand covering Allah's words? I am mightier than the attribute of Allah's speech. I am able to cover it. If God can do anything, we don't have the right to say he can't enter into his creation. We don't have the right to say that. And he agrees with me. He has to be. Exactly. But he doesn't. So the clear guidance of Allah is well, not so me, clear because we got two listen Muslims who don't know what to no, believe. Listen. Here we've got the the Quran, right? Surah what? Surah, Surah 20. It doesn't really matter for, for the point that I'm making. But a, a simple question. These words here, are they the word of Allah or not? Yeah, um, through, through Gabriel, yep. through the angel, yes. uh, Prophet Muhammad was told, say this. Yes. So he now listened to what the angel Gabriel said, Yep. and then he took it in, Yep. and he gave it to the world. Right. So has Allah's word entered into creation? I don't understand that question. So my, my question is, the speech of Allah is an attribute of Allah, is it not? Or speech, His speech is not Allah. Okay, yeah. That's fine. His speech is not the same as our speech, but his speech, but his speech is an attribute of him, isn't it? Right. Okay. So, can Allah enter into his creation? Allah knows best. So you're not sure. His essence cannot enter into something. No, no. Who knows? You can't say. Okay. How can you say? Would it be fair? Allah can do anything. Don't undermine him. Yeah, but he can do No, listen to this. Listen. No, listen. Anything possible, Allah can do it because he created it. Great. So the question is. If these are the words of Allah, and here I am holding it, then I can say quite rightly that Allah has entered into his creation through his attribute of speech. Now you're saying no. Why? Is this not the word of Allah? So it is the word of Allah. Revelation, that's the difference. Go on. A revelation is not something that God... You're included in this, by the way. A revelation is not Allah's essence that goes inside the Prophet Muhammad But it is one, a speech is one of his attributes, isn't it? The word. No, but the speech of the Allah. Word. The speech of Allah is an attribute of Allah. Well, you cannot say what, what because speech? his what speech, speech is a... his speech. What speech? Allah's speech. What, like you talking now? I can't. I can't be more specific. You can't. You yeah, can't Allah's be... speech. The speech of the Quran. These words. I give you an example. This speech. Maybe, maybe, maybe he can help you. Maybe he can help you. Okay. So here we go. The point is, I know what your point is. You're well, saying that Allah's what? attribute is his speech. So he's going it. So he's uh, like. He's, uh, no. What? What? I didn't. You didn't even finish that sentence. <laughs> okay. You brought the verse. Can you bring it? So my point is, you say that this is the speech of Allah, or don't you? Okay. Right. Yes or no? Through the Prophet Muhammad Yes. That's fine. So it's through the Prophet Muhammad, and it is the speech of Allah. So am I right in saying that Allah's attribute of speech has entered into creation? Well, well, that's revelation. fine, through revelation. Has Allah's speech entered into creation? Not at all. Go ahead, go on. Okay, so Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told a... Uh, he told Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam what to say through revelation by the Holy Gabriel. Right, so, so if, if Allah is telling him what to say, and these are his words... It's not going inside of him. So if has it... Has it you, am, I, am I going inside you? I don't know. Has, has it entered into creation then? Is my speech entering in you? Yes, through my mind. Yeah, but it's not entering inside of you. It's just your mind. Uh, so, after you can so forget after. We wouldn't, we wouldn't even be talking unless there was an, a, a communication between your speech and my mind. And yeah, vice versa. Like that. That's the thing. Right. So here's 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 the problem. God bless you, bro. When are you bringing back that table? It'll be back very soon. I want that table back. back please, back. please. So, bro, as I was saying, so here you wanted an example. So I'm going to give you an example. Yeah. Here, it, here it says, and there come to you the story of Moses. And when he saw the fire, he said to the family, "Wait, verily, I have seen a fire. Perhaps I can bring you some uh, burning brand therefrom, or find some guidance at the fire." And when he came to it, the fire, he, call, he was called by name, O Musa, verily I am your Lord. So this is the speech of Allah. Uh -huh. It's there in creation so, with Musa. So when the speech comes, did it come in the form of verbal? Did it come through his mind? Was it telepathic? 
What way was it? Well, it's through words. No, but what words? It doesn't say. No, no, because listen to this. Listen to this. Have you heard of telepathy? Yeah, I've heard of telepathy. So telepathy is one man here and the next man over there. Yeah. And then he goes like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we need to go over there. Yeah. And then he te telepathically now goes over there with him. Okay, that's fine. Yes. The point is it's words. But that is words. That's fine. Great. So has it entered into creation? What do you mean by has he entered into creation? So this is a really simple question. I can't make this any more simpler. Good. The speech of Allah is the creation. He's the creator of everything. Exactly. So, so he's, he's been the creator of everything. He has definitely entered so into creation. Thank you. Okay. That's so really so so you have no objection to the idea of God becoming a man. God becoming a man. Yeah. God is everything. So God can become a man. God can do anything he wants. I have no problem with this guy. No problem with you. No, no, but it's, it's a consistent world. world. It's a consistent worldview. No, no, the no, no, no yes, it's the truth, though. Yes, yeah, absolutely. The Muslim is accepting that God can enter into creation. No, 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 no. God can do anything. Exactly. So he's accepting that God can enter into his creation. I have no problem with this understanding of Islam. Yes. If a Muslim accepts that Allah can enter into his creation, he can do anything, and therefore has no objection. On it, one on second. One second, and has no objection to the idea that God can become a man. I have no argument with such a Muslim. No well, argument. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. We don't have the right to undermine God. No, I agree. So we can't say God can't do that. Brilliant. Or like, how can we? Brilliant. So my, my point is, my point is, and, and you're, you're consistent. I've got no issue with you. I've got no argument with you at all. Because if you can accept that, that God could enter into his creation in my faith, then I have no problem with the idea that you believe that as well in your book. But I guarantee, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, there's plenty of Muslims in this corner that would argue no, 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 against you. No, but what is, is that not everyone has the same understanding. Yeah. That's You're a Salafi, thing. right? Uh, I'm not Salafi, um, I'm a true believer. Oh, a Karaji? No, I'm a true believer. With ISIS? <laughs> call me what you want to call me, but I'm yeah. a true believer. Okay. We, we, we know, we know we, 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 the fellow that he was with, but I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. My brother here? Yeah. This, That's this my guy. brother. Do you, believe that, do you believe that God can enter into his creation? No, so, listen, listen, oh wait, he listen, said no, listen, he listen, said yes. Listen, listen, Did you see that? Listen to this, listen to this. I stand by his side. Great. You say Allah cannot enter into his creation. Allah can do anything he wants. He says he can. Who's right? No, I say Allah, Allah can do anything Who's right? he wants. Leave it. No, leave it. Who's leave right him. amongst the leave ISIS? Him. He's trying to be smart. Leave him. Allah SWT I'm not can trying. do anything he wants. I'm not trying to be smart. No, listen. No, 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 no. Forget it, forget it. No, no, brother, brother. Yeah. The Most High can do anything. Yeah, can do anything he wants. Brilliant. And because we have no right to say he can't. Brilliant. So God can enter into his creation. He can do anything he wants. Thanks be to God. He but he's saying he no. Say he's no. saying no. He's shaking his head and saying no. Why, why, why? So which Muslim should I believe? This one or this one? It's up to you who you believe. I, I have no problem with your argument. I got problems with his argument. Yeah, but but now now we're going to get to semantics and now come into a fight. Well, well, you're telling me one thing and he's telling me something that contradicts you. You're saying God can do anything and so he can enter his creation. He can do anything. He's he saying he can't. There you go. Can he? No. 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 Okay, okay, there you okay, go. Okay, okay. Listen to this one. Listen so to who's this one. right on Akira? No, listen to this one with common sense. Yeah. The creator of everything, yeah. right? that created everything, yeah. he can do anything he wants. I agree. It's simple. I agree with you. Simple. Got no argument with you. ABC. Genuinely, genuinely. ABC. Got, bro, I got zero argument with your position. I'm sticking to my gun. I, and I agree with you. I can't argue with logic. If God is almighty and all powerful, God can do anything. anything he wants. And if he wants to I enter his creation, we don't want... have the right to say he can't. Exactly. There you go. If God, if no, God no, can no, do anything, right we don't have the right to say he can't enter into his creation. We don't have the right to say that. And he agrees with me. He has to be. Exactly. But he doesn't. So the clear guidance of Allah is well, not so this, clear because we got two listen Muslims to this, to who this. don't know what to no, believe. Listen to this. Listen to this. I'm still on his side, though. I know you are. I appreciate that. I get you. I see you standing with him. I hear you. Yeah, but he is literally saying the very opposite that you're saying. Well, unfortunately, maybe, I don't know. Is this Akida wrong? No, listen, I can only speak for myself. On the day of judgment, yeah? Yeah. I can only speak for myself. Okay, so which one of you wants to use the Quran to show that their position is right? I don't need to because you already agree with me. I, it's don't. true, it's true. So it's up to him. If I, I got no argument. This brother accepts the Christian position. God can do anything, he can enter his creation. Full stop. Perfect. You know? Uh, amen. I got no argument. I can't argue with logic. You cannot argue with logic. If God is all powerful, he can do anything. And if he can do anything he wants, no one we... has the right to say he can't. Bingo. No one has the right to say he can't. That's coming from a Muslim. But yeah, that Muslim disagrees. Ah, he disagrees. Why, he why? disagrees. Why do you disagree? Why, why do you disagree? Allah does not, it doesn't befit his majesty to enter into his creation. It doesn't so, befit. So the argument is, go on. 
There is none. Uh, I'm going to mention no, Come and go, come and go, come and go. Come and go, because like... To him. So, so it doesn't befit His Majesty to enter into His creation. So what about this then? What about this? Is this the speech of Allah? Yeah, the whole Quran is. Is this in creation? It's not creation. So this is not creation. I'm holding the uncreated in my hand. Just think about what you just said. Allah cannot enter into creation. This is Allah's speech. I am holding it in my hand. Is this in creation? It's not his creation. The words of Allah are not his creation. His words, am I holding the words of Allah in my hand? This is the words of Allah you're holding. This there you go. I am holding the words of Allah in my hand. I am holding one of the attributes of Allah in my hand. Yes or no? So, yes, and am I holding it? Am I holding it? Is my hand upon Allah's words? Is my hand covering Allah's words? See? I am mightier than the attribute of Allah's speech. I am able to cover it. Well, are these Allah's words? Are these Allah's words? Are these Allah's words? Yeah, of course. My, is my hand covering it now? You're just being dumb. Can you read it? So, here's the problem. He is asserting a contradiction. He's asserting a contradiction. Here's the contradiction. The other brother was not asserting a contradiction. The other brother's position is completely logical. I cannot argue against logic, so I could not argue against that Muslim. But this Muslim is saying, on one hand, that these are the words of Allah. But then on the next breath, He's saying that Allah's words are not in creation because Allah does not enter his creation. It doesn't befit his majesty. So this is a contradiction. It's a contradiction. You cannot on one hand say that these are the words of Allah and then in the next breath say that Allah doesn't enter into his creation. If the speech of Allah is an attribute of Allah and this is the speech of Allah, then it is in creation. Allah enters into his creation. Full stop, end of story. And he's ran away. So maybe one of you guys could reconcile that contradiction for us. Fair enough, that's fine. What about yourself? Is this to, do you believe that this is the word of Allah? Okay, fair enough. So there you go, guys. Muslims have zero objection to the incarnation because the speech of Allah is eternal and infinite. The speech of Allah is not separable from Allah. And yet here it is in my hand. Here I am covering it with my hand. My finger is running over the speech of Allah right now. So clearly the speech of Allah is in creation. And if the speech of Allah is in creation, then Muslims cannot object to the idea that God can enter the creation and become a man. Because if his speech can become a book, why can't he enter and become a man? But here's the problem. The Muslim that walked away asserts a contradiction, a contradiction that we Christians don't have because of exactly the kind of logic that the other Muslims said, which is that God is all-powerful, he can do what he wants, and we don't have the right to tell him otherwise. And that's what the Muslim said. So this Muslim, I couldn't argue with him because he's making logical arguments. But Muslims who make illogical arguments, those are the ones that I can argue with. So I'll ask again, because there are some Muslims at the back, and maybe you'd like to answer the question. Can Allah's speech enter into creation, yes or no? Allah's speech, can it enter into creation? This is the speech of Allah, yeah? I'm asking you, is it the speech of Allah? Right. Yeah, the, no, no, not the English, the Arabic. This is the speech of Allah. The word of God. We're all agreed, this is the word of God. Are these words in creation right now? They're in creation, yeah. Yeah, they're in creation. Oh, okay. So Allah, Allah's speech has entered into you're creation. Now. You're being a bad, like, technical, you're trying to prove a point technically. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so, yeah, it doesn't need to be technical, it needs to be transparent. Great, so I'm being transparent. Allah has entered into creation, agreed? No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Ah, his word, his word. Okay, his word. His flesh, the word only. The flesh, okay, no. let's, let's hear that. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm, am I wrong? Yeah. You're going to see how wrong you are. Ah, yeah, let's see, let's see. But, okay, can Allah's words be... I don't want to debate with you on, on the camera. Let's okay, you stand off camera. Yeah, just talk to everybody in general. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll talk here, you stay there off camera. Yeah, it's not good debate, it's not good debate. Okay, so you've, right wrong, you know? you've just said that Allah's word has entered into creation. Yes, word, yes, Brilliant. Does mean it's fresh, it's can the attributes of Allah be separated from Allah? God, God, Did everyone else understand that question? God is, God is the creator, 
Okay? Yeah. And he can't enter his creation. No. He can't. Can his attributes? Attributes. I don't, you're being. So you're talking it's like, the, like the questions you're asking is like the way a Christian would ask. It. That's a perfectly fair way to ask a question. No. Because I don't no. <laughs> I don't believe what you think. So you can follow logically an argument, right? No, no you're not logical. You're not being logical. The, these pre premise one, these are the words of Allah. Well, let's see. Let's see if I'm being illogical. What I said is let's the let's see. Brilliant. So now answer this question. Now we've established. An great. Yeah. Veer an angel. Yeah. So, fantastic. So now we've established that these are the words of Allah. Yeah, the words of and the these yeah. are in creation. Now we've established that we agree upon that. My next question is a simple one. My next question is a simple one. Can the word of Allah, can his speech be separated from himself? Can his speech be apart from him? Do you need the answer? Do you need to know the answer? Yeah, I'm asking. That's generally why you ask a question. Do any of us know the answer? What's the answer to you? So, so, uh, are you saying you can't answer the question? Yeah, I, I know that. Can you answer the question? Don't ask a question no, with a question. No, because I don't think the way you think, though. So tell, think tell me, think. tell me where. So, so tell me where I'm wrong. Okay. Tell me your premises then. Tell me where I'm wrong. You're, you're very wrong. That's not to explain. Well, I'm God, very wrong, God, but I don't know how to explain I don't, it. I don't. I don't because, because you believe what you believe, and I believe what I believe. Right. Yeah, here's here's the thing. Right. In the absence, in the absence of a better argument, you see. Here's the reason why I'm doing this, guys. Yeah, why are you doing? Muslims come around the corner challenging Christians about our belief in the incarnation, about our belief that God can enter into creation. They challenge us all the time. And yet their own theology, you've already backed out, bro. Your own theology teaches exactly the same thing. They believe that what I'm holding in my hand right now all the words of Allah. But who would deny that the paper and the ink is created? Who would deny that the hand is created? Nobody. So I am literally holding the attribute of Allah in my hand, in the material. And the reason why this brother couldn't explain the problem away is because Muslims deny the incarnational theology of a hypostatic union. But we Christians believe in a hypostatic union. We believe in an all-powerful God who can do whatever he wants and you can't tell him otherwise. And that this all-powerful God can take on to himself a material human nature that is not confused with his divine nature, that is not mingled with his divine nature that does not change his divine nature. But yet, in the person of Christ, the divine and the material sit together. In the same way, Muslims argue that this is the speech of Allah. It is the word of Allah. But the ink is created, the paper is created, the act of writing is created, the pen is created, the recitation is created. And so they have this concept that if I burn the Quran, I don't burn the words of Allah. I can't destroy the words of Allah. And why? Because even though this is the word of Allah in the material, these two things sit apart. But the difference is we Christians openly acknowledge the hypostatic union Muslims presume a hypostatic union, but they have no place for it in their theology. They have no category for it, no description of it. And without that category and description, Islam has an irreconcilable contradiction. The Quran says, if it was from any other than Allah, I would find contradictions. I have found a contradiction. If you are a Muslim, tell me where I am wrong. Well, he's already backed out. Can any Muslim answer that question? Not one. Not a single one. Do you see how they're silenced? So let's go find some of the Dawah team.